Radio is a routine and frequent form of entertainment consumed by society daily. Of more significance, music is manifested globally, transcending cultural borders and indifferences. As constantly evolving and sought-after content, it is imperative to radio success that the music requirements of a station's target consumer demographic is met. Radio on the Sunshine Coast currently comprises of three top competitors offering unique content. Firstly, we have Mix FM, who has the top position on the Sunshine Coast ratings and 19.2% audience share can be attributed to its communal brand identity and elements. Its range of music caters to countless demographics, with music from the 60s to now. As for CFM, its second position on the Sunshine Coast ratings and 15.2% audience share can be attributed to the word hit. It most notably plays today's hits, R&B hits and pop-up playlists. As for Triple J in third place, this particular station has no ad breaks, constant music and talk shows. This station also caters for a unique and niche music market. Coming in fourth, Hot 91's largest audience base is 10 to 17 year olds, more frequent than its 25 to 44 target demographic. With a 10.7% audience share gap between the leading competitor, Hot 91's unclear brand perception and lack of audience tailored music content prevents the station from appealing to its target demographic and increase its audience share. To understand and identify how Hot 91 can change, a survey of 86 people was conducted. 81% of survey respondents were aged between 18 and 24 and indicated a preference for today's top 40 charts, followed by 1990s contemporary hits. Lengthy ad breaks, repetitive playlists and personal music choices were also the key reasons for switching radio stations. Respondents also indicated a desire to hear segments that involved a mix of old school and popular songs from the decades which is content that is delivered by competitors of Hot 91, however untapped by the station itself. The collaborative data indicates Hot 91's objectives require them to appeal to a wider demographic and establish a radio identity that can be clearly recognised within the community. But with over 30 million songs in existence and 63.8% of Queensland listening to radio on a routine weekday, how can Hot 91 get this right? Well, for starters, Hot 91 is strongly focused on the Sunshine Coast community, however neglects the importance of their music content. Hot 91 must broaden their music range to include popular contemporary hits of today that appeal to a wider variety of age groups. The introduction of tailored music segments will ensure consumer interest and longevity and may include Karaoke Tuesdays. In turn, this will help appeal to the older demographic of listeners who can relate to the music content being played. Additionally, Roy Morgan data indicates 63.8% of Queensland residents listen to radio routinely on a weekday. It can be assumed that the remaining 36.2% do not listen to radio, prefer their own music or catch public transport. With this consumer insight, it is within the best interest of reaching a larger audience range that Hot 91 considers additional music streaming services to provide content to those who cannot reach it otherwise. This includes the ability to stream from a mobile app and the website. This also provides Hot 91 the opportunity to tap into and appeal to an audience that is not often reached. The brand that is associated with Hot 91 is not powerful enough to be achieving their key objectives and therefore needs to adopt these key recommendations to help improve and develop their brand for the future.